Okay, welcome back to S4G. It is what it is, opinion show. All right, man. <clears throat> Got to speak on this, man. Uh, as far as Dame Dash getting with Kanye. Um, I don't care what nobody say. That's a touche to Jay-Z. That's a touche. Um, I heard, as well as I know everybody else had, had the hair that's been up on that situation with him and Jay-Z, that uh, Kanye said in an interview, you know, uh, basically he just put it out there. You know what I mean? That Jay-Z was his, you know, he looked at him as his brother. You know what I mean? But at the same time, it is what it is. Like, you know, Jay-Z even said in the interview, he was like, that's not something he could just get over like that. You know what I'm saying? He's like, my family was involved. So he took it real personal. So with that being said, you know, it just seems like it's still going on, like an ongoing situation with them. You know what I mean? They could have been did like brothers or did like men and squared off with each other, whatever they had to do. You know what I'm saying? As far as whatever they got to do to get off their chest or want them to get off their chest. But at the end of the day, it looks like they just going to just, you know, go down as far as let's see who be the best successful you know what i mean something that can really get over though for real for real you know what i mean because really kanye was more voicing his opinion you know what i mean with some called it ranny you know what i mean uh but at the end of the day i see it still an ongoing on battle with them and kanye you know basically took it on a two shade set you know what I mean? Who you was going at it with. Who doing a lot of videos about you and stuff like that. Now I'm linking up with him. And they talking on the tour tip and all that. And, and basically like banging like the rock back how the rock was. But with good music. With, J, you know, with, with Kanye situation though. So, ah. Wow, it's, it's like now we're looking for the where the touche coming from Jay Z side. It's gonna have to go like that. You know what I mean? Because Kanye is not to be slept on. You see what he did to 50 Cent sales. Well, a lot of people, they probably said, that's 50. Okay. But ain't, ain't, don't act like 50 ain't never did his thing. You see what happened with him and Ja. And Ja, I was riding with Ja. I ain't gonna lie, because I was loving Ja music. Same time, I felt 50 music when he dropped. <clears throat> but I'm not gonna lie. Ja rule even to this day. I rock with Ja Rule music. You know what I mean? But with that being said, in this case, I like, I love Jay-Z music, but Kanye, boy, that's that boy. He speak that truth. And he's another boy when people were saying he's this, he's that, he's ranting. I'm like, man, look, he speak the truth. You know what I'm saying? He got in his bag a couple of times, he get in his zone, you know, with paparazzi, stuff like that, things he been through. But Kanye is that boy, man, from political... You know what I'm saying? He got a lot of that pock with him too. You know what I mean? He's straightforward. He's straightforward. He's he coming right out from the rip. He's not holding no punches. You know what I'm saying? So you you liable to see him react or, you know, come on either note. However note he got to come off on, man. He's going to do it to get that truth out there and let alone Jesus walks. I don't care what y'all say, man. He said, I'm never going to hell. Like, you know what I mean? I did Jesus walks. I'm never going to hell. Like, real talk. Basically, I stepped out on faith. I did what a lot of people scared to do. I put out the truth about Jesus walking with me, being in me. You know what I mean? If my records don't sell, you know what I mean? Did I hope it take away from my sins? Like, come on, man. It is what it is, man. So, with that being said, yeah, I'm sorry, man. That was a very big touche with him and Dame Dash getting together. Now, if you start seeing him video after video, Dame Dash in the videos... All in the videos. <laughs> Welcome to Death Row. But no, nah, on a you know what I mean? The rock as far as with good music. Come on, man. That's that's all our war, lyrical war right there, man. Jay-Z gonna have to gonna have to step it up. It's Kanye, come on man. You know how Kanye do. Then his videos, they be so futuristic and abstract at the same time. I, I could see him taking Dame Dash to another level. And you don't want Dame Dash pockets to get too big. He already comfortable. You don't want his pockets to get too big. Because then that's really a problem for Jay-Z. You know he going to do. Don't let him get in his arrogant bag and all that. You know. And him and Kanye? You know how they do. Kanye said my head too big. You know what I'm saying? 
I got a big head. You know what I'm saying? They, they both get in their arrogant, you know, man. They flashy and, you know, I got to see where this is going to go. Y'all tell me how y'all feel. Bro, I see this as a touche. Jay-Z better mount up. Because especially when, when, when Kanye start dropping back to back to back to back. And you know how he do. Come on, and he make beats? Come on, man. Come on. Like I said, Jay-Z that boy. Nine decimate, not sleeping on him. But I've been rocking with Kanye. And I'm going to stay rocking with Kanye. Kanye that boy, man. He that boy. And that's the, I don't care what y'all say. That is a touche with Dame Dash. Y'all tell me how y'all feel. But I'm sorry. And like I said, if they rock it up on that good music, it's a problem. I want to see how this is going to go. How y'all think this is going to go and how y'all feel about that? Was it a win-win when he did that? Or do y'all think it was a downfall? I definitely don't. But, you know, y'all can see it different ways sometimes. Y'all let me know. And let me know any topic y'all want me to speak on. I'm catching up on a lot of things. On and off. You know, behind the scenes and all that. But let me know what y'all want me to speak on other than that. Make the hood rich.